Hey guys, welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Wanted to go right into uh, my week two, day one workout set. I shortened up the amount of extra exercises that I do um, in an actual set. I brought it down to about three for this week. Um, last week I felt like five was too much. I was only getting up to eight rounds. Um, I shortened it down to three and I got up to 12 rounds. Um, and I did it within a 30, 35 minute window this time. Um, and then right after I did this actual workout set with three different exercises, I went into heavy sets um, of two different exercises and then I went, did my cardio and I was basically done for the day. So you're looking at about a one hour time frame out of the gym. If you want to shorten up any one of these intervals and, or extend them however you want, feel free to do so. But let's go right into it and kind of see what we did here. So the first workout I wound up doing is um, something that you've probably seen before, maybe some of you haven't. It's just a basic push-up, but I'm using a medicine ball. When you use a medicine ball, basically what you're doing is um, shortening up the distance for your pecs. And it's almost like you're doing a bench press. When you do a bench press, you don't want to extend out all the way. You kind of want to hold um, about three quarters of the way and then come back down. Hold about three quarters of the way and then come back down. So it's the same exact concept without having to put on 225 or 185 or however many um, pounds you actually put onto a barbell when you're doing some basic bench presses. The next one I wound up doing is just some straight hammer curls. Again, I usually like comboing up chest and buys, back and tries. Um, some people like doing chest and tries. I feel like it's ineffective just because when I'm doing a bench press, I'm already working on my triceps. Why would I do another set of triceps and then when I go back to a bench press or go back to a chest exercise I'm not able to lift the same so I do chest and buys back and tries so here's the hammer curls real straightforward of everything um, including the uh, push-ups I wound up doing 10 of each side same thing goes for the hammer curls um, for a little bit of ab workout I did some mountain climbers uh, mountain climbers are real straightforward to change things up. I use the medicine ball as a stabilizer. So it stabilizes your core just a little bit more. It forces you to stabilize your core a little bit more. So that's what I wound up doing in this set. Um, just a 20, basically 10 of each side. <coughs> Excuse me. Next what I wound up doing was, this is my last set. I was just exhausted. I did 12 rounds, so I wound up doing 240 push-ups before. Um, and then on this one was, this is I think 225. I did... Um, just some straight bench presses. You can see here that I'm struggling. This shit was heavy, so I stopped at four. Next one I wound up doing is um, I went a little bit heavy on uh, bicep curls because, again, chest and buys, back and tries. That's how I do it. Figure out how it actually works for you. Um, but for me, it just actually is more effective. So this is, I think, about 100 pounds or so with the bar. It's 90 plus 10, I'm assuming, is probably how much the bar is. Um, so I just did some straight up preacher curls. The reason I like doing preacher curls is because it really isolates your biceps. You have to really concentrate on them, bring it in, tighten it up, and then bring it back down. I really like this, this machine a lot. Um, and basically, that's my workout set for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, whatever your goal is, whatever you're pushing for, just make it happen.